I'm a drama student, so it's quite a lot of physical stuff on my course, and it can be a problem sometimes, but um, most of the time it's okay. I had a bad flare up um, last year towards the end of the year and couldn't take part in any of the rehearsals for any of my pieces, and that was quite frustrating. I just went along and sat in and like watched what everyone else was doing and tried to keep up to speed and everything, but it was quite annoying because I didn't have the energy because it can make you very tired. Um, didn't have the energy or the strength or I was in too much pain to just to do anything, so I had to sit it out. I, I have to let people that I work for know like what's wrong with me and that sometimes I may have to just take five minutes out, stand still if, if it's hurting or go to the toilet quite, quite suddenly. You have to let them know because otherwise they, they might think you're skiving or they might think you're just standing around being lazy. Other than being on these drugs that wreck my immune system um, for like the rest of my life, there's a there's an operation that I can have to take the part of my bowel out and then rejoin it up. Do ducks have legs? Yeah. Well, feet. They have webbed feet. Yeah, but would you call them legs, really? When they asked me if I wanted an operation, I was kind of like, the, the easiest answer was just to be like, no, just because I don't want to be cut open. Because who wants to be cut open, really? Have it like, a part of it taken out, so you've got to have the rest of it rejoined. And then the idea of something passing through that is quite scary. So, I don't really like the sound of it. The idea of an operation does scare me. It's horrible. Do ducks have legs? What are they called? This got, like the pains and stuff got really bad in my first year of university. And I went to the doctors, I would say, about five or six times and got told every single time that I went that I had um, irritable bowel syndrome. And it just got to the point where my mum was so worried about me that she made me come home and she took me to the doctors there. And she did like, she ran a load of tests and blood tests and any possible tests that you could do. And then found out from like something to do with what was going on in my blood that I had Crohn's disease and then sorted it out for me straight away. I was all right. I was quite relieved because I'd had this like year of of not being able to do very much and losing loads of weight and not being very hungry and just wasn't very nice. To knowing what it was and knowing that it was going to get treated, so it, I was really relieved. But my mum and dad were, were really upset and they was like sitting crying and stuff and I'm going, it's good, it's good, it's sorted, we can sort it out now, but they were really upset about it. Crohn's disease is an inflammation of the bowel. Um, it, flares up due to all different kinds of things. For me, it's stress, but it can be certain types of food and all different things like that. And it um, it's usually in like the bit that's just ne like to the right of your belly button, which is like the joint of your, your large and your small bowel. My mum says that me having Crohn's disease is like a duck swimming on water because she says that um, on the surface, I'm all calm like the duck going along really smoothly. And then underneath, um, I'm worrying and I'm in pain, which is like its legs kicking under the water. That duck, huge. You got legs? <laughs> I don't know, you still haven't answered my question. <laughs>